Laura. Hey, oh. There we go. This is the Kilimanjaro Trek Diary final day. Say hi. Hi. This is Stuart, he's been the trek leader. How's things going? <laughs> it's, I'll upload it when I get, back, get some signal, but. Uh, I just added about 200 meters to this place. <laughs> Learning backwards and forwards, I've done. <laughs> it's fantastic. But all the guys here. Okay, or we can make it. Oh, summiting Kilimanjaro today. And uh, a few of them leading right now, in fact, myself included. Just doing yeah, a video. Yo, <laughs> hey, this dude, Africa. much respect. <laughs> much respect. <laughs> yeah, yo. Part of tour, tour group that got us up the mountain. Without this dude, nothing, this, nothing would happen. I <laughs> respect everyone. <laughs> Awesome. Cool, awesome. Cool, let's get back down, yeah? Oh yeah, let's go down now. Huh? <laughs> and in front, uh, some of the, some of the, uh, some of the group that we've been with for last week. Oh man. Right. Not gonna lie, that was hell. I do not uh, acclimatize well above 5,000 meters. It was like being suffocated uh, for about five hours straight. <clears throat> um, actually thought I wasn't even going to make it at all. Um, but there we go. The, uh, the guides, part of uh, Asante Tours, have pushed me on. Kept checking my, my vitals, like my pupils, make sure I wasn't suffering uh, AMS, haste. Uh, and when I was ready to give up, they weren't. That was ridiculous. I wouldn't have gone up here today if it wasn't for them. Much respect to the the guys that that run these tour groups. Because this was the hardest thing I've done in my entire life. Anyway, we did it. Whoa!